Welcome to my video tutorial on formation and branches of brachial plexus. Brachial plexus is a nerve plexus formed by cervical spinal nerves. In relation with the clavicle, it is divided into two parts, upper supraclavicular part and lower infraclavicular part. Supraclavicular part is located in the posterior triangle of the neck region, whereas infraclavicular part enters into the axilla. Let's see the formation of brachial plexus. It is formed by anterior primary rami or ventral rami of C5 to C8 and T1 spinal nerves. They are known as roots of brachial plexus. Such roots unite to form trunks of brachial plexus. Ventral rami of C5 and C6 unite to form upper trunk. Ventral ramus of C7 continues as middle trunk whereas ventral rami of C8 and T1 unite to form lower trunk. So there are three trunks of brachial plexus. Each trunk further divides into anterior and posterior divisions. Such divisions unite to form cords of brachial plexus. Anterior divisions of upper and middle trunks unite to form lateral cord. Anterior division of lower trunk continues as medial cord whereas posterior divisions of all the three trunks unite to form posterior cord. So there are three cords of brachial plexus. Such cords give rise to branches of brachial plexus. Which means brachial plexus consists of roots, trunks, divisions, cords and branches. Now let's see the composition of supraclavicular part of brachial plexus. Here is the clavicle. Here is the supraclavicular part of brachial plexus in the posterior triangle of neck region. It consists of all the roots and trunks of brachial plexus. Coming to the composition of infraclavicular part of brachial plexus. Here is the clavicle. Here is the axillary artery within the axilla. The infraclavicular part is composed of all the three cords and their branches of brachial plexus, which means Divisions of brachial plexus lie deep to the clavicle. Let's understand this by looking at the following video clip. Here is the brachial plexus from posterior triangle of the neck entering into the axilla. Here is the pectoralis minor muscle reflected. The supraclavicular part is composed of roots and trunks. The roots are formed by ventral rami of C5 to C8 and T1 spinal nerves, which lie between the scalenus anterior and scalenus medius muscles of the neck. Roots unite to form three trunks. Here is the upper trunk. Here is the middle trunk and here is the lower trunk. Each trunk divides into anterior and posterior divisions. All the divisions lie deep to the medial two-third of shaft of the clavicle within its concavity. Such divisions unite to form cords which give rise to branches. Cords and branches belong to infraclavicular part which lie within the axilla surrounding the axillary artery. Here is the lateral cord, here is the medial cord and here is the posterior cord of the brachial plexus giving rise to their branches. Let's see the branches of brachial plexus. They arise from roots, trunks and cords of brachial plexus. Branches from the roots. Rootlets from C5, C6 and C7 unite to form long thoracic nerve. C5 root give rise to two branches. Dorsal scapular nerve and a branch to phrenic nerve. Branches from the trunks. Out of three trunks of brachial plexus, only upper trunk give rise to two branches. They are suprascapular nerve and nerve to subclavius muscle. Upper trunk is also known as herbs point where six nerves meet. C5, C6 roots unite. Anterior and posterior divisions are formed and two branches of the upper trunk are given off. Branches from the cords. Lateral cord branches are lateral pectoral nerve, lateral root of median nerve and it continues as musculocutaneous nerve. Branches from the medial cord are Medial pectoral nerve with a communicating branch towards lateral pectoral nerve. Medial root of median nerve which unites 
with the lateral root of median nerve to form median nerve. It also gives off two cutaneous nerves. Most medially placed medial cutaneous nerve of arm. Lateral to that is the medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. Then it continues as ulnar nerve. Branches from the posterior cord are upper and lower subscapular nerves, thoracodorsal nerve, axillary nerve and it continues as radial nerve. Thickest of all branches of brachial plexus is radial nerve. Let's summarize the branches of brachial plexus. Here are the roots, trunks, divisions and cords of brachial plexus. Branches arising from the roots of brachial plexus are three in number. Long thoracic nerve, dorsal scapular nerve and a branch to phrenic nerve. Branches from the upper trunk are two in number. Suprascapular nerve and now to subclavius muscle. Coming to the branches from cords. Lateral cord give rise to three branches. They are lateral pectoral nerve, lateral root of median nerve and musculocutaneous nerve. Medial cord branches are five in number. They are medial pectoral nerve, medial root of median nerve which unites with the lateral root to form median nerve. Medial cutaneous nerve of arm, medial cutaneous nerve of forearm and ulnar nerve. Branches from the posterior cord are five in number. They are upper and lower subscapular nerves, thoracodorsal nerve, axillary nerve and radial nerve. Thank you for watching.